Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on March 3rd, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick video update here. We're going to be talking about earthquakes right away. Pretty strong magnitude earthquake here, 6.7 magnitude earthquake striking Macquarie Island region, 10 kilometer depth south of Australia and New Zealand. Now, all through this region, we've been watching it throughout the week increasing seismicity and as well a lot of deep earthquakes so heads up through the region looking across the pacific plate not much to talk about here but all this new activity through the indian plate and up into uh, the african plate is a little bit concerning and then a pretty rare earthquake 6.7 striking macquarie island Minor earthquakes continuing there at Toya, Texas, but seismicity magnitude is increasing to 3.9. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Still average number of earthquakes, just over 220 earthquakes, according to USGS. But heads up through the Pacific Plate region, all across the Ring of Fire right now. Have a look at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Yesterday, I did give you an update on the SO2 models that are going around the world. 44 active and erupting volcanoes. 6.7 Macquarie Island, south of Australia, the strongest earthquake all week. And this just in breaking space weather news as we are under a level 2 geomagnetic storm. Moderate geomagnetic storm have been going through it for the past little bit as the KP index hopped up to five. Solar winds are coming in right now at 378 kilometers per second. No major solar flares to report. Solar X-ray flux is moderate. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity, as you can see, hopping up to actually a KP6 just recently. So plus five and then plus six into the level two geomagnetic storm. And that is from this CME, which I shown yesterday. But it was kind of updated today and as you can see it, it almost looks like there was a space weather tsunami that happened here from the coronal mass ejection on our sun these models were posted yesterday but they're a little bit different look at them this time as it kind of looks like they fold and then a second tsunami comes out so this geomagnetic activity just kind of came out of nowhere having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral most recent there's not much to report, but just showing the next 24 hours, we are still going to be going through this geomagnetic instability. A little yellow circle is Earth. There's that roll of space weather that we just went through. Now let's have a look at our GOES magnetometers. As you can see, they flipped right through this event. They've been crisscrossing and meeting for the last week, but they completely flipped their KP index 5.67. Strongest KP index we've seen in a little bit. Now let's have a look at our solar winds. This is showing our magnetosphere, our pressure planes. As we are, have been under quite a bit of pressure the last 24 hours, this has been constant. But now look at the most recent images coming in from our most recent impact. Look at all that pressure. Oh, boy. 6.7 earthquake south of Macquarie Island. I think we're going to see something even bigger over the next 24 hours. Things are building up. And a lot of pressure was just put onto our planet. That's all I can say right here. Amazing images of our magnetosphere showing the pressure from the solar winds from our sun during solar cycle 25. Amazing images here to share. Please share these with your friends and family. Don't forget to strike the like. Much love, everybody. And leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And share with your family. Amazing planet and amazing times to be alive and witness all of these events through daily events worldwide. Having a look here at our solar winds, showing the speeds of our solar winds. As you can see, things increased just before this kind of space weather boom. 
just over the last few hours. Right there. Boom. Big stuff. And looking at Alaska, it doesn't even really show major CME coming our way. It was kind of like a, it's kind of a ghost CME. Where did this come from? These are the most recent since March 1st. We were expecting geomagnetic instability from the most recent coronal mass ejection before that. But it was set to give us a glancing blow. We got a little more than that. Much love, everybody, and hope you enjoyed this little update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.